crew, welcome back to another Project Life series with me, The Tattooed Crafter. Now, as you can see, I have got week 23 here, all on my table. Now, I have actually gone through and picked out some of the papers I wanted to use, but I was still deciding on the overall title card. But I happened to find this one in my stash, so I thought I might as well use it. Now, as you can see here, I have added a strip of my new brand brand new map designed washi tape that was from the beautiful hobby craft and it was in the sale so even more of a beautiful bargain and I was toying with adding some of my new tiny and gorgeous doilies but I really couldn't decide whether I was going to or not but as you can see at the moment I end up literally fussing with this particular tag now this was a tag given to me by one of my pen pals and I absolutely adore her so yes thank you ever so much as you can see I did in the end use one of the doilies these are from Dove Crafts or Do Crafts I can never remember which one but basically they are kind of a pack of 40 kind of I don't know about three to four inches big then really really tiny obviously they fit on the six by fours beautifully so yes if you're in the UK and you want them definitely go and grab some now I'm going through a little container that sits on my desk now this container holds a whole heap of different embellishments this one happens to be already made for me. Again, this was from one of my beautiful pen pals who had made this, I believe, by watching one of Adele's um, kind of videos, as far as I'm aware. Um, Adele is Inky Quill, the gorgeous Inky Quill. And um, yeah, basically my pen pal got some inspiration from her. And as you can see, they are beautiful. So thank you ever so much for sending them over to me. Now I'm just using some El Crapo, basically some really, really terrible thickers. Um, I've had them in my stash for ages. They were relatively cheap at the time when I bought them and basically the sticky has gone. So I ended up having to use some of my good old Pritt stick and PVA glue just to end up making sure that they stick to my doily. Now being a good girl, I end up adding some of my gold splatters on top of a plain sheet of paper rather than destroying my overall display which is very very good of me and um, I'm quite proud of myself I think I need to give myself a little round of applause there now all I'm doing is adding some of these enamel dots these are from the pound shop or Poundland. land um, they're really really handy you get like thousands of them for a pound so yeah realistically for the amount of money and the amount that you get really really good value for cost now this is of my craft room i ended up going to ikea a good few weeks ago and i ended up extending my calax system i originally had the 4x4 but we've got the space to go even higher so i ended up buying a 2x4 just basically to semi balance on top and i have now filled that and um, i actually need some more storage so <laughs> yes yes it's uh a craft room tours coming you keep getting kind of sneak peeks so um that was basically another one so there you go now this particular card is basically from a six by six paper pad you can see there that i got majorly frustrated because i don't have enough letters so I end up opening up a brand new collection of thickers, which you will see just here. These are the beautiful uh, American Craft thickers. They're a really, really cute font. They are foam and um, I've got the link in the description below. So if you would like to purchase these, they come highly recommended from myself. So uh, if you're interested, then make sure you go and grab yourself some. Now, I'm spelling out New Craft Room with these lovely foam stickers. And I do fuss in regards to kind of making sure that they're even and in the middle. Eventually, I end up kind of basically coming to terms that I'm never going to get it completely straight. So, in the end, I give up, basically. 
and as well as giving up I end up adding some of these puffy stickers now these are one of my new collection uh, well not mine but ones that I have recently purchased again if you're interested in buying them then check out the links in the description box below again being a very very good girl I end up using my splatters and I make sure that it's on a scrap piece of paper so don't ruin my display now if you're interested the gold ink that I'm using is a Winsor & Newton I absolutely adore this particular ink it's very very vibrant it's very very glistening and yeah it's just absolutely stunning good value for money too I actually the last time basically we were in Canterbury at the weekend and um, guys they do a copper like a well it's not copper it's like a rose gold kind of coppery style and um, I was very very tempted to get some but to be fair I don't really know how often I would use the coppery gold so I'm sticking with my gold 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 for the moment but yeah if you're interested and you love some rose gold then check out the Windsor and Newton. Now I'm adding some of my tiny little word stickers this particular photo was quite interesting it was basically me being a detective i am quite suspicious of people um it's just the way i am literally it could be anywhere and i just automatically my anxiety so to speak kind of goes into overdrive and um yeah basically i thought some people were stealing some slates uh, like roof slates and um because they didn't look like a company basically taking them away so um, I took a quick sneaky photo imagined that it was a selfie and um, yeah I just thought you know you never know if uh, I end up having to be asked to use it so anyways that was that one obviously this all happened on a Thursday so I ended up going through and just writing out exactly what had happened and literally my little story of what I've told you just now this is the beautiful Inky Quill. I absolutely adore her channel and I basically took a screenshot of one of the videos that I was watching this particular week. This just goes to demonstrate that you don't necessarily have to have real, not necessarily real stories to tell, but obviously if you want to document things that happened, whether that's a video that you watched or a game that you played or if you went to the cinema or... You know, even if it's just like a photo that you find on Instagram or on Facebook, screenshot it and put it in your project life. Like that has basically been my motto for this particular week because I didn't necessarily have that many photos to put in here. And you'll see that when it gets right to the end. Now, I'm using my alphabet stickers from the Hobbycraft store. This is just a black and white font. It's really, really, like, delicious. It's really, really nice. And um, I use this particular set quite often. So if you're a regular on my channel, you will have seen these before. Now, the yellow stickers are from a Studio Calico kit. I can't quite remember which one. But basically, I end up spelling out good old YT, which is short for YouTube, binge. And basically, I spent the day and I ended up watching a whole heap of beautiful and very, very talented scrapbooking ladies on YouTube. And um, yeah, I basically binged on YouTube for the whole day. And why not document that in one of the filler cards? So that's what I've ended up making here now as you can see I'm going through my Y and my T I'm outlining it with just an ordinary biro purely because the basically they're like a lime green rather than a yellow really and obviously putting that on a green doesn't necessarily make it stand out so as you can see I just quickly did an outline so that my Y and my T would stand out on my layout this is just a photo of some wine that one of my friends had purchased and um, she basically said it was amazing so I quickly took a snapshot just so that I could remember which particular one it was. We were out shopping, she pointed it out to me and that's basically a reminder photo and I thought why not put it in my project life? You can see where I'm going with this. And as if by magic, near enough, 
I am pretty much done. There you go. So this is a very, very green layout, okay? Quite a lot of the time I do actually enjoy using green and blues and this particular week just so happened they were the colours I was going to use. And as you can see I've got my beautiful uh, embellishment there by the lovely Julie. So thank you ever so much Julie for sending them out to me. She's, she's like amazing, absolutely amazing. So thank you ever so much my darling. And um, yeah, basically that's pretty much the end of this video so like I said guys if you don't have lots of photos make sure you try and document maybe things you've watched things you've done whether that's kind of movies or games that sort of thing but anyways guys I will catch you later see you later bye